Here, I'm going to use the matrix equation and matrix inverses to solve this system of linear equations. So remember it's going to be based on my equation AX equals B, where A is my coefficient matrix. So let's go ahead and write that down now. And the coefficient matrix just means I'm going to grab the coefficients of my X's and Y's. So the X's will go in the first column, and my Y's will go in the second column. And then it's going to be multiplied by x, which is my variable matrix, which means I have x's and y's. And that's going to be equal to my constant matrix, which is negative 13 and negative 12. And remember, if you were to work out this matrix multiplication right here, you would just end up with these two equations right here. So we've just rewritten them. So what I'm going to do now is find the inverse of this coefficient matrix and then multiply each side of this equation on the left by my inverse coefficient matrix. So let's go ahead and find that right now. Let's slide over a little bit. So in order to find the inverse, it's going to be 1 over the determinant. And then I'm going to kind of rearrange these terms a little bit. So the determinant is going to be negative 7 times negative 3, which is going to be positive 21, minus, and 6 times 8 is 48. And on the inside here, I'm going to switch the order in my main diagonal, so negative 3 and negative 7. And then I'm going to negate both of the terms in the minor diagonal. So instead of positive 8, it'll be negative 8. And instead of positive 6, it'll be negative 6. So let's go ahead and just kind of simplify this. So 21 minus 48 looks like it's going to be, what, uh, 27? So 1 over 27. And it'll be negative. And then uh, that'll be this right there. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is going to simplify this. So scalar multiplication tells me that uh, every term inside here is going to be multiplied by negative 1 27th. So this will look like 1 9th. Looks like 8 27ths. Uh, 6 27ths can reduce to, what, 2 ninths, And uh, then 7 over 27. Okay. So what's happening now is I have this inverse matrix, and I'm going to multiply each side of my equation on the left by this. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite everything here. So 1 ninth and 2 ninths, 8 twenty-sevenths, and 7 twenty-sevenths. And that's going to be multiplied through. So remember, the beauty of this is this just becomes the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 being multiplied by x, y, which really just gives me x, y. So it's really only the right side that I'm concerned with. So again, rewriting all this stuff. So negative 13 and negative 12. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and do this arithmetic. So 1 ninth times negative 13 will be negative 13 ninths. And we're going to add that, and this will end up being negative, so I'm just going to say subtraction. So 8 times 12, well, really it's 8 27ths times negative 12 over 1. So I can take a 3 out of each of these, and this will be negative 4 and 9. So this will be negative 32 ninths. So negative 32 ninths. Which, negative 13 minus 32 becomes negative 45 ninths, which is negative 5. So my x value in this original system is going to be negative 5. So let's do the y value. So 2 ninths times negative 13 will end up being, let's see, negative 
26 ninths minus and then 7 27 times negative 12 over 1. Same thing can happen. This can go to a 4, this can go to a 9. So negative 28 ninths. So negative 26 and negative 28 are negative 54 ninths. So that's going to end up being negative 6. So the solution here x equals negative 5, y equals negative 6, so my ordered pair is negative 5, negative 6 to solve this system of equations.